Carol Smith Gilbert told me her USC Trojans, if she had to sum up this season with one word that set the tone, it would be commitment. And after watching their men run the four by four yesterday, the ladies couldn't not be inspired. So Kentucky will be in three, Oregon in four, USC in five. On your mark. Kentucky won the conference championship, which is a big brag for the Wildcats just a month ago at Knoxville. Florida was second in that race. LSU third. Those are the three SEC teams in this four by 400 meter relay final. Purdue brings a very strong team here as well. Looking at Faith Ross, the leadoff runner for Kentucky. Sydney McLaughlin is slated to run third. From the inside, Ohio State, Florida, Kentucky, then Oregon, USC, Purdue, and on the outside lanes, Baylor and LSU. They will stay in their lanes, of course, through the first full leg. Hand off the baton, and the outgoing runner will stay in lanes through the curve and then break for the pull on the backstretch. One of the most amazing races, and I love that it's last, because no matter if you have five people in the stands or 5,000 in the stands, every single one of the team's individual performers, men and women, are lined around the track, and this place just goes bananas in this event. So watch for the handoffs as Brianna Disrosi of Oregon is running a great leg for Oregon and for Purdue. Chloe Abbott running well for them. Oregon passes first, then Purdue, then LSU. And a terrible pass and a really tough leg for Kentucky. They are well back. Purdue brings in a veteran squad. When I talked to their coach, Lonnie Green, he said, we may not have had the names coming in when they were freshmen, but now that they are juniors and seniors, they have developed into a unit. There's one unity there. It's not four individual runners. He's done a fantastic job with his sprinters. They have had a great showing here at the national championships. Boy, I don't know what happened with Kentucky. They are well back. They're in sixth place and not making up a lot of ground. Jasmine Camacho Quinn, Carrying the baton for the Wildcats. Purdue lifting nicely in the finishing stretch with Brianna Thomas. Here comes USC. And USC now moving from third, trying to move to fourth. Anna Cockrell doing a good job. They are still in fourth, though. Remember, they've got to win this race to win the team title. Sydney McLaughlin is going to certainly improve Louisville, uh, uh, Kentucky's chances, but she is way back. They're at least 40 meters off the lead and currently in sixth place. Oregon running very smart down that backstretch, but here comes Ohio State making a move on the backstretch. It's Purdue and Oregon. Vanessa Darpino of Oregon making a nice move, trying to come up to Purdue. For Purdue, that's Simone Black. And look at Sydney McLaughlin. She's raced him into fifth place and closing. Wow. Her split's going to be interesting. Oh, and USC bobbles the baton at the pass. And that puts Kentucky in fourth. Oh, SC passing on the inside. I'm not sure if that was uh, incidental contact necessarily, but Purdue is winning this race so far. Jenea Mitchell for Purdue on the anchor. Kendall Ellis for USC now into third for Kentucky. That is K.L. Clark. K.L. Clark, a great closer for Kentucky, and I just don't know if Purdue is going to get caught. Now, there's no way it's going to unless they drop the baton. Purdue's going to win this, which we certainly didn't see. Here comes SC. USC oh is not going to catch Purdue, I don't think. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh. look what's just happening. Oh. USC wins the women's team oh title my in the last year of the four by four. Unbelievable final leg by Kendall Ellis. 50.0 on the split. I almost had a heart attack. Well, it just doesn't <laughs> get better than that. The wow. only team in the race that can win the team title Georgia has to be in shock. 
at that outcome. That is a carbon copy of what happened last year. It was snatched from Georgia by Raven Rogers of Oregon last year, and Kendall Ellis just won the team title for her team. I have no idea what happened to Kentucky. Looked way back there. Faith Ross just had a terrible first leg, and that doomed the Wildcats. Second exchange coming in. Purdue had had the lead the entire time. Oregon, Ohio State, USC was fourth on that exchange, and then coming into the final, they bobble the baton. Look at the tripping in the middle in the black by USC. Here's the pass inside by Kendall Ellis. And you just have to see if there's any impediment at all with Kentucky. But she runs 50.0 and walks down Purdue to win the four by four. Wow, that was an incredible leg. Well, I don't.